and he and his other disciples were in class. It was called Tribulation 101. And when they were in class, God sent a storm down to blow upon that sea. And the wind and the rain and the thunder and the lightning started crashing. And the waves beat against that ship so much so they had to try and pitch the water out of the boat. And they were sinking and perishing. And Jesus thought it would be a great moment to teach them how to handle tribulation when you don't have the power in your hands to fix it. Jesus goes down in the bottom of the ship and Jesus lays out his cot and he takes a nap and he goes to sleep. Peter comes running down and saying, Master, don't you care that we perish? And Jesus says, as long as I'm on the boat, I'm paraphrasing, as long as I'm on the boat, you ain't got nothing to worry about. No storm can kill you when I am on the ship. Can I get a witness here? So Peter is locked up in jail and he knows as long as Jesus is in the prison with me, no guard can kill me. So I might as well go to sleep. I might as well sleep since he's always up. I might as well sleep since he never slumbers. I might as well sleep since he is in charge. Is there anybody in the building tonight that knows God is always... Yeah, yes, 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 yes. He's always in, in charge. He's, he's always awake. Faith, faith is resting. Faith is resting when you ought to be struggling. Faith, faith is sleeping knowing that God is working. Faith is confidence in what you cannot control. Faith is when you've done all you can do and you can't do anything else. So you resign the rest of the work in God's hands. Can I get a witness here? If somebody called it blind faith and you know what that's exactly what it is. It's whatever you can't see but that's okay because we walk by faith and not by sight. Whenever you can't heal yourself, you might as well trust God. Whenever you can't deliver yourself, you might as well trust God. Whenever you can't bring yourself out, you might as well trust God. Whenever you can't deliver yourself, you might as well trust God. Is there anybody in the building that's ever been at a place where you could not do it for yourself? When you were locked up and bound up and all you could do was hold on to God's unchanging hand. Is anybody here? You know he is able to see us through and so it is that Peter is between two guards behind 16 soldiers deep in the third ward of the prison and at, at night while he was asleep I don't know why I can't get off this God does his best work while we are asleep. Adam met Eve while he was asleep. Oh, yes. Jacob wrestled with the angel while he was asleep. Daniel saw the vision while he was asleep. Ezekiel caught the glimpse of the wheel in the middle of the wheel while he was asleep. Can I get a witness here? God spoke to Elijah in a still small voice while he was in a vision. Is there anybody here that knows God does his best work while we are asleep? When we threw our hands up and say, I can't do it myself. That's when God does his best. Peter is asleep and the angel slaps him, smites him. Sometimes deliverance is hard. Sometimes deliverance hurts. Because some of us, some of us can't believe that God can do what God can do. That before God can deliver us, he has to smite us. Before God can bring us out, he has to break us down. Before God can pull us up. He has to strip us low. So before Peter gets delivered, 
he gets smitten. Bible says the angel struck him. Have you ever had God strike you in order to wake you up? Have you ever had, have you ever been so lost that you didn't know where you were, spiritually where you were, emotionally where you were? You didn't know where your faith was? You were so bound and restricted by chains that in order for God to get your attention, he had to smack you upside the head. Have you ever had God shock you into deliverance? Have you ever had God take you and shake you and turn your world upside down before you could see the light? Have you ever been going down the wrong road so fast that God had to stop, pull you, smite you, and show you where you're broken at? Anybody ever had God break them down, strip them down, smite them and smack them before they could see exactly what he was trying to show them? Had it not been for the licks of God, I wouldn't be standing where I am today. Had it not been for the hits of God, had it not been for the hurts of God, had it not been for the smites of God, sometimes God has to whip us to get us to see ourselves. Can I get a witness here? I know I'm talking to a good church and you ain't never had God whip you. But I've had God show up, pull the belt out. I've had God whip me with disappointment. I've had God whip me with frustration. I've had God whip me with trial and tribulation. I've had God whip me with disappointment. Anybody in the building ever had God whip you? But aren't you better because he took the time to chastise us? And whom the Lord loves, that's the one that he chastises. I am a better man because God laid his hands on me. Can I get a witness here? Oh, yeah.